COVID-19, of course, a global pandemic and impacting the entire nation. Arkansas is not immune with more than 8,000 sick patients in the state. And today we are talking live with Dr. Joel Tumlison with the Arkansas Department of Health about this crisis. Doctor, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Yes, yeah, nice to be with you. So Northwest Arkansas continues to be a hot spot for COVID-19 cases in the state, as we've reported, with the governor actually traveling here this week to discuss that issue with local leaders. Why is this region seeing an uptick of positive cases? Well, it, it's not always easy to tell why right now as compared to the rest of the state. Um, some of it may just be a matter of timing. Um, you know, four weeks ago, we were saying that Northwest Arkansas had a relative lack of cases compared to Central Arkansas or other parts of the state. Um, so to some extent, um, it's unfortunately bound to happen a surge net at some point. Um, there have been cases community spread. There have been cases with some uh, large businesses or employers um, as well. Um, but it's hard to say why Northwest Arkansas now and not other parts of Arkansas now. Sure. We know the governor is obviously pushing for increased testing as that testing increases across the state. Do you think that Northwest Arkansas will continue to see growth in positive results? Well, yeah, certainly. But you would expect that part of it that's due to increased testing um, to be similar as an increase in the rest of the state. So certainly there's there's more of a concern in Northwest Arkansas for those who live in Northwest Arkansas now as opposed to um, a few weeks ago, even if we had increased as the same amount of increased testing then as now. Um, the, with increased testing, we catch more people who have no symptoms. And so we're gonna get relatively more um, positive tests back, but it is a concern. There's definitely more transmission going on in uh, Northwest Arkansas right now than in prior weeks. At this point, what population group or demographic do you believe is most at risk? Well, I, you know, I think everyone um, is at risk for getting infection, especially as um, we've opened up somewhat. People are circulating more. We're, we're going to stores more. We're going to restaurants again. Um, and the people who are most at risk if they get sick are clearly elderly people or those with um, other health conditions that put them at risk of severe disease. But that doesn't mean the other people won't get infected. Um, you, you're more at risk um, if you encounter someone uh, who's got COVID even if they don't know it. And that's the unfortunate thing uh, with a disease that uh, doesn't show symptoms in everyone that it infects. Right, and we're definitely seeing more of that, obviously, as more test results come back. We'll have more questions for you on the other side of this break. Stay with us. Back now with Dr. Joel Tumlison with the Arkansas Department of Health. A doctor, in the last week, we have seen dozens of protests across the country surrounding the death of George Floyd, including in Fayetteville and in Bentonville. We've seen thousands of people out there shoulder to shoulder not social distancing and some not even wearing masks. Do you think this will impact the number of COVID-19 cases in the coming weeks? Well, it certainly could, and I guess only time will tell if it does. Um, some of the difficulties will be hard to tell through uh, contact tracing of uh, people that had been at a protest if they get sick. Um, I think the message we really want to relay is that if you are to protest, um, wear, your, wear your face covering, wear your mask, um, that you can protect the other people that you're uh, protesting with that way. You know, like you said, I, social distancing in a protest would be a challenge, um, but maybe people can be cognizant of that and spread out a little more. Um, certainly things like if you're sick, don't go to the protest or out in general. Um, if you've been in contact with a known case of someone who's a known case uh, of COVID-19, you need to quarantine for 14 days. Please don't go to a protest or any other uh, or any other community event or go out. It's the same advice, the same measures. Um, they just become so much more important uh, now that we uh, are going out and about more, and even more important in a um, a very large group setting like a protest. If we find out in coming weeks that one of the protesters who was at one of the events is sick, is contact tracing even possible? Uh, very, very difficult, as um, the governor and, and Secretary Smith, I think, said yesterday. You know, a lot of contact tracing comes from the contact, knowing the person, they've, people they've been around and how to get in touch with them. Uh, and if that's at a protest, you might know the, you know, a few friends or family members you went with, but 
you're probably not going to know most of the people you were in close contact with, making it very, very difficult, as you said. Sure. You did kind of allude to this, but what are some of the things that if people are choosing to be out in large uh, crowds in close proximity with others that they can do to stay as healthy and safe as possible? Don't go if you're sick. Uh, wear your face covering. Um, clean your hands as much as you can. Take your gel with you. Uh, and try to space out as much as possible. Sure. And as this pandemic continues, we're almost four months in, and as it continues through the summer, what do you think Arkansans really need to keep in mind as this progresses, even through the midst of um, kind of unrest and, and feeling like they just want to get out of the house? What do they need to keep in mind? You know, the, the measures to protect ourselves and others become even more important in this phase than they were early on. Early on, we everybody was mostly staying at home. Most people weren't back at work. These things become even more important as we go out and start doing things. We're going to have to be uh, very smart as citizens about the activities we engage in uh, to try and minimize our risk and the risk to our loved ones. And so people just really need to think about uh, what kind of uh, activities they're going to, what the settings are, are they going to be able to space out or not in those activities or settings? And can they do it, but do it in a safe and smart way? Right. If the answer is no to that, you should consider not doing it. All right. Good advice. And hopefully everyone continues to remain vigilant. We appreciate your time this afternoon. Uh, we'll You're have welcome. a final look at your weather after this.